I am love. I am light. I'm the goddess of truth and insight. I walk in unconditional love. I move in grace, that in which I am sent here to do from the dimensions above. I honor myself in truth. I choose my own path. I create what is meant for me. I have that right for everything that comes to me. I deliver it through insight. I'm the goddess of love, light, and truth. I am. I am. I am essence. I'm sensual. I'm wise, but walk in you. I am love. I'm light. I'm the spirit of wisdom and insight. I am unconditional love. I am unconditional love. For I am unconditional love. Aquarius, 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 what's popping? I know y'all mad at me. Go ahead and be mad. It is AOTA. I've been trying to do your video for the last three days. I first had major feelings of anxiety to the point where people connected to my soul was like reaching out. Hey, it's good. You okay? <laughs> Um, it was also that way for Pisces as well. They're next. I've never been conquered by an energy. And I damn sure ain't going to be defeated. I love y'all very, very, very much. So please excuse my tardiness to the party. Okay? This will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross, cross, cross watchers for the sign of Aquarius. That was another issue. I couldn't freaking talk. So I covered myself. <laughs> In protection, I said a prayer for us both before starting this reading, and I had to declare my own goddess mantra because I, somebody, y'all can run that back and start it over and write it down because that was for someone, but Spirit was really pushing me towards doing this video. I've had a major sinus infection. I don't know if you guys have family in Houston. Call them, ask them about it. The winds out here is fucked up, okay? Um, but I love you all, and I'm not going to keep this long introduction i wanted to go live with y'all it was like i was trying to push myself to do something that i know i needed to do but it was hard for me to conquer doing so aquarius man y'all are going through some things some of the things i saw in my third eye some of the things i've been dreaming y'all i love y'all very much and i know spirit is gonna get to speaking in its place so we're gonna allow we're gonna grab your tissue because i might cry too I don't know if some of y'all took a deep breath at that time, but I'm hella empathic and it's going down. So you all, this is not a personal, it's a general. Okay, if you do need a personal, which I'm feeling some of y'all will, <laughs> the information can be found below. Please hit me up for your personal. I am available. Okay, so we rocking. This will be from now to the 15th of October. I wasn't able to go live. My Wi-Fi freaking sucks. I'm tired of fighting it. So I'm just going to have to deal with the uploading of you guys and Pisces. But, 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 um, I know y'all not really been cross-watching and did all your cross watches. So with that said, you will notice that your reading is different from everyone else's. I had to do something a little different because, y'all, I'm really feeling y'all right now. And it's going down. Okay? So we're going to rock. All my new subscribers, welcome to the family wheel of dysfunctional. I might cuss. Those of you who are viewing my channel for the first time, hey, boo, hey, I'm okay, okay? Uh, also, I do cuss, depending on what the hell these cards going to say, baby. Um, these cards going to make me cuss. So, just if you cuss ain't for you, deal, okay? It's not for you. Don't mean I love you any less, just mean we don't resonate, okay? Um, new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do love, grow evolve and share okay so with that said let's rock aquarius the angel message that you guys got from now until the 15th of october is topaz 
Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. That's beautiful. Okay, y'all, I'm going to put it right here. That's fine. This is a beautiful sign from your guardian angels who love you so much and want to help you reach the next positive level in your health and happiness. They can see that you are being blocked and held back by repressed anger and resentment. Most likely you already know what needs to be released, but perhaps you've had difficulty letting it go. Forgiveness isn't condoning, accepting, or excusing anyone's behavior. It's, I'm sorry, it means an unwillingness to harm yourself anymore. You don't have to like the other person or hang out with them. You simply need to agree to release their energy from your psyche. This card could refer to forgiving yourself for the actions that you regret. Self-blame is, is as toxic as blaming others. The only thing valuable about reflecting on the past is learning from it, not holding on to shame or guilt. Your guardian angels remind you that heartbreak anger only hurts you, not the other person. Repressed resentment is toxic to your physical, emotional, and financial health. All it takes is a little willingness to forgive, and God, Jesus, and the angels will do the rest of the work. Okay? So there was a strong, strong feeling of anxiety that I felt around Aquarius. And to be honest, it did have to do with forgiveness. Let me tell y'all some things I saw in my third eye that made me just freeze up and just go into tears. We're going to talk because y'all video going to be a little long. And I pray, I truly pray that all of y'all really watch the video because it's going to touch everybody in their own way. It is well needed. I literally had to, usually I'm real goofy, and I might laugh a little bit because that's just who the hell I am. I'm a silly person, but my soul going to speak to Aquarius today and Pisces. So if you're cross-watching for Pisces, get ready. Keep your tissue out. Um, Aquarius, I literally saw people drinking to the point where they are destroying their kidneys. I saw people playing with magic to keep somebody and it reversing and that person comes back but they may beat the hell out of you I saw people not really paying attention to their kids because they in such a daze of a place maybe from the death of someone baby you gotta bounce back and let God do God's job I saw people <laughs> some of y'all have intuitive children some of y'all have children that are earth angels some of y'all have to end karmic repetitive cycles from past lives and it's just like people are just in this damn days of this illusion of how they want things to be or for some of y'all how things should have been and for some of y'all it's literally creating entities yes i said entities entities of some of your loved ones that you're feeling that anger or regret from. And some of y'all may feel like you're being hunted. Some of y'all, it's not that you're being hunted. It's just that you have the ability to let that go. Because the restoration of love in your heart starts with you. The reason why I keep y'all keep seeing my throat. Because I literally feel like something was trying to block my throat chakra from speaking to you all. But I'm I'm a warrior of love and light. So I will not be defeated because my family needs me right now. Some of you all are having suicidal thoughts. Some of you all feel like you don't even want to get out of bed. You just want to lay there all day just to pass the time. Some of you all are going through spiritual awakenings where your eyes are working different and it's scaring the hell out of you. And you may have family members you feel like plotting on you to send you to the crazy house. Some of you all pay attention to synchronicities when people are talking to you and speaking to you and what they keep telling you. Some of you all are having angelic experiences during this time where angelic beings are speaking to you. And they're speaking to you directly through your creator. And it's just there. 
out there. This is a major time of truth and evolution. Some of you all may be going through new awakenings and you find yourself meditating and something just really wants to just burst out of your body. Don't be afraid. Aquarius is all the grandfather of the zodiac. So with that said, <laughs> you're going to go through some shit. It's not for you to be afraid because many are called and few are chosen. And it's an honor to be chosen. Will you answer that call? Some of you, you want to answer it so bad, baby, but you got to let it go. You can't go into healing with that heavy ass heart. Let it go. Something better on the other side. For those of you using magic and you don't know what the hell you do, stop. Right now, I said stop. Stop. For you don't know what you're doing and you reap what you sow. Stop. I don't want to yell at you all. This is purity. This is my heart speaking to y'all. I love you all so much. And I want you to release the anxiety. Some of y'all, please call the suicide hotline. Please. Get out of bed. Feed your kids. They need you. Let it go. There's no nothing to fear. But fear itself. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Some of you all are extremely empathic, baby. Heal. I'm a healer. Heal. Let it go. Let it go. Spirit wants you to win. But you have to see what you're aiming at in order to win. Fearlessly let it go. Here. I love you, Aquarius. Be rocking. Mother, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Oh, holy divine, speak. I'm the messenger, speak. Now it's October 15th. Yes. Yes. Aquarius, during this time, Spirit is needing for you to be reflective. Some of you all have been putting in work towards learning magic and shit. For some of you all, you're actually learning how to forgive yourself and others. Or you will be during this time. You've been trying to, but don't try, just do it. For those of you who are trying to learn magic, in order to bring somebody back, maybe a soulmate, you see how that, that, that eye on the back of that mirror? Understand that if you do not know what you're doing, when you practice the magic, and for some of y'all, it's on the water side. For some of y'all, it has to do with the earth side. Or this could be in your energy, but somebody is doing some type of mirror magic and they have no clue what they're doing. And to be honest with you, baby, stop. Just stop. Just stop and ask spirit to take it, put it in the ethers. Take it back. Stop. Please rep repent. Pray. Stop. For those of you who've been putting working to yourself after looking over your past and being reflective, you're learning you know what it is not to do how to not give people all of your power and you're being enlightened during this time some of you all are honing new spiritual abilities but some of you all it's a very primitive time a lot of you all will be having crazy premonitions you are not crazy okay, you and your call few are chosen some of you all are trying to create something new. Some of you all are trying to use magic to manifest a child. But to be honest with you, you don't need magic for that. You just need new moons. You need new moons 
to change your diet. Manifestation through incantations or if you're going to use some type of like crystals and things of that nature, literally sleep on it, but use new moons. New moons are going to be very helpful for you. My spirit wants you guys to be reflective, not in a negative way, but be reflective on all that you've given in relationships so that you can, to help you let them go. Because baby, you ain't lost nothing. During this time, spirit is trying to give you something new. And they're showing a lot of you all through your third eye. A lot of you all may be seeing butterflies during this time. They are messengers that newness is on the way. And for those of you who are putting in the work to hone your abilities and work on yourself. Okay? Again, I told you, some of y'all have been working on trying to have a baby. Your baby's coming, baby. That is spirit's reward to you. But you got to get over what, what wasn't working in the past and what didn't happen. For some of you, you may be finding out that someone else have children during this time while you were trying to work on a baby. And it's going to break your bones down. But to be honest with you, it's a blessing in disguise. It's your perception and how you look at it. This situation is going to build you. It's going to bring a greater understanding. And know that you're always protected, okay? It's going to bring wisdom. See the owl here? Wisdom. This wolf signifies protection. Some of you all who lives in like who live in places, I'm seeing a bunch of nature. For those of you all who live in places where there's a big trees, you may be seeing like owls. Your your spirit animal during this time is owls. You may be seeing owls. Some of y'all may, may live in places where it's not owls, but you may see them. They're your overseer. They bring you great wisdom and insight. So after seeing that, when you go to sleep with it, before you go to bed, Write your incantations. What is it that you want to see? Learn how to hone your abilities from a place of love. You will protect it. It's going to bring you great wisdom. Some of you all are sages. And you're coming to understand that. So you're understanding why your journey has been quite the rough one. But know that something new is going to come from this. Something that you birth from a passionate place. Turn your pain into power, baby, and something brilliant can come from it. You are creator. Yeah, some of you all could possibly be trying to birth a situation, possibly having to do with a soulmate. Uh, some of you all could possibly be having, um, some of you could find out you're having a child with a soulmate during this time. Some of you could be uh, coming to that knowledge. And instead of being happy, some of y'all in a very depressed place about it because some of y'all are reflecting over the past and what happened in the past. And, you know, you need to walk away from that because if someone left you in the past, don't project that fear on someone else. Okay? It's not fair. Yeah, some, the mother. For those of you who are trying to use magic to manifest babies, stop it. Just use new moons. Full moons. New moon's very, very important though. There's one coming about, I believe, on October the 8th. Yeah. Nice, depending on where you live. Some of you all definitely need to. Some of you all are reflecting on how your life kind of is very similar to your mother, and that's going to shift your way of viewing your relationship with your mother in order to fix it to birth something new so that you can release that anger or resentment or you know that need to forgive that some of you all are working on a relationship with your mother some of you all are working on a relationship with your children because some of you have children that feel this way and you're needing to after getting that information put more time into that some of you all are literally like facing your damn shadow side and you in denial you don't want to see what your ways bring to relationships and how you're carrying baggages into other your baggage into your relationships okay yeah but some of you definitely need to forgive your mother yeah some of you is having to do some of you all are going through some type of reincarnation process like it's crazy because some of you all i'm seeing are having step-ins during this time i did see that as well it made me a little anxious anxiety feel some of y'all are going to find out that Someone that you're dealing with or you dealt with in the past did some type of magic or like did some type of, they didn't know what they were doing, but it could be affecting your love relationship now. Or for those of you who may feel like 
you have like presence around you. But some of you, if your mother passed in the last three years, some of you are the clear audience and you've been hearing your mother and it's freaking you the hell out. She wants to, she wants you to know, and that's what a lot of you are hearing. She wants you to know that all is well. That you're hurt. You can let it go. Because she has nothing but love. And she's been trying to give that to you, but you've been running and scared as hell. Some of you all possibly have maybe a father figure or the father of your child who could have passed over. There's some type of contract that was made that you could possibly be dreaming about or coming to terms about. Some type of soul contract that's needing to be had. And the crazy part about it that it, with me seeing this 10 and the 1, it has something like October the 1st or maybe even the 11th could be very important. Something having to do with a soul contract. And I'm also finding that somebody that you're dealing with, some of y'all, uh, if you're wondering if your partner is delving into magic, some of y'all could find out that you're dealing with a sage but or like some type of person with like magical abilities. Some of you all are trying to bring something into fruition. You're, you're going to be learning some type of truth. And it has to do with like dimensional truth. Yeah, y'all, y'all messages was off the chain. Some of you all, some of you all, the blood moon activated something in you. It's like your higher self wants to come to harmony with you, but it's like some of you all are afraid. But if you just let go and release that fear, because that is what kind of keeps us held back, all will be well. You have nothing to fear but fear itself because. Your spirit baby is trying to rise. Something in your life is trying to rise. Like that of the phoenix baby. And it's time for you to be truthful with yourself and allow yourself to see what your third eye, what your chakra, what your premonitions are trying to show you. Because for some of you all, you're not communicating and you don't want to see. But it's about your perception and how you're seeing the situation. Some of you all are very, 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 very powerful in the mind. And you're creating things. Some of you all may be getting knocks on the door. From spirit during this time. Be careful about opening your door and letting things in. Some of you all who leave your door open during this time, y'all may have like butterflies. When I say butterflies, some of y'all may be feeling like you're being stalked by butterflies. Those butterflies are your messenger. Start Googling what color the butterflies are and what's the esoteric meaning because spirit is all around y'all during this time. It's time for you to get, get move away from the past, Aquarius. Move away from the past, my babies. Let it go. Let it go. And don't hurt yourself for what, you, what another person made you think you was. You understand? Don't belittle yourself or treat yourself less because of what another person made you think you was. Spirit, show me what's going on in love. For Aquarius, this one now. October 15th. Yeah, some of you all have... A decision to make between two people. And I feel like both decisions could truly change the world. But it's about you internally making a decision. Because I feel like you haven't been wanting to see something. Or you haven't been able to see something. But these moon cycles have really been giving you clarity. Some of you all may be seeing white birds during this time. It's an infinite signal. Something is coming to a close. But I feel like you're not wanting to see it. Or you're just being indecisive about what you want to do. The fact that two and two fell out first. Some of you all, the number four is very imperative. But some of you all may be seeing two, two, two. Balance is coming, baby. Balance is, is bringing balance. Okay? And for some of y'all, it's between heaven and earth. I told you that so. Contract is really showing for me. Some of you all needing to make a decision. And I feel like during this time, some of you all may be, uh, may be being very defensive towards people. Because you're not really speaking how you feel. Some of you all have a choice to make between a fire sign and an air sign. 
and you're not wanting to make the decision, but you're going to receive some type of communication. Or for some of you all, I feel like you're going to find the passion within yourself to communicate or make a passionate decision about what you want to do and come out of this period of anxiety or defensiveness. Because I feel like for some of y'all, y'all intuition is booming during this time. Okay? And something is going to come to you intuitively that you need to receive to help you make this decision. And you're very passionate about it. Again, something coming. So for some of y'all, you've been having to make a decision about a fire sign. Internally, you just haven't been speaking about it. But some of you all are definitely going to gain some type of clarity regarding the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I feel like it's going to be through some type of psychic or uh, prim primitive insight. Definitely having to do possibly with a past life. Again, you see all these infinite circles and all these cards. It's infinite. And some of y'all is having to do with number six, harmony, okay? Harmony within the self. Harmony with uh, your surroundings. For some of you all, you have a past life love that's coming in that is a possibly a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So some of y'all have a soulmate with two past life soulmates to choose from. For some of you all, some of you all could be finding out you're pregnant and you can be in, could be being defensive towards the idea because you don't want any more children and some of y'all could be finding out you're pregnant by a past life soulmate. For some of y'all, somebody who crossed over is possibly going to be coming back through the form of a child. So the child that you're being defensive towards, stop. It has a spiritual reason for being here. Some of y'all, this person some of y'all could be finding out you're pregnant by an earth sign. For some of you all, you're getting the message of love, a new beginning, okay? For some of y'all, a pregnancy brings you your ace of cups, okay? And for, for some of you, you've been defensive towards a person due to a pregnancy, okay? Or maybe you're pregnant by a person you've just been intuitively feeling to be defensive towards them, and you are going to be finding out something that is going to hurt your feelings. But let it go, Aquarius. Don't hold it. Extract. extract. Yeah, truth and clarity. I, I just feel the, the prayers. I tell y'all, y'all going to be seeing a lot of truth during this time. This is a time of truth. And a lot of it is going to come from the divine, baby, directly from source. People lie. Spirit don't lie. But some of you, you having to make a choice. Okay? You needing to make a choice, possibly between a water sign, a Capricorn, or someone very, very, very toxic that you feel like. You can't get out of your head. For some of you, it could be a Sagittarius. But I feel like you have new love on the horizon, and you're having to make a choice between a new love partner and, for some of y'all, a past partner or someone, you know, a past life partner, someone you could possibly have kids with, too. For some of y'all, you're just going to, some of y'all, y'all going to communicate with the Sagittarius that you want to move forward, okay? Some of y'all could have been defensive towards, defensive Toward this person after finding out that they had outside children and maybe you were having issues with conceiving, but it was the fact that that truth, that was a blockage towards your relationship. And I feel like this person received some type of psychic insight about it and they're going to share that with you. And they're also going to make moves in order to fix that so that you guys can move forward when a damn bubble miracle happens. Believe in miracles during this time, babe. Yeah, some of you all, some of you all, you're going to have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Wanted to work things out with you. They want to fix their shit. They want to fix whatever the hell happened that made that made things go wrong. Some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all have an outside person who could also be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. So Aquarius, some of y'all could be like keeping an eye out on a family situation, okay, or someone who you have kids with. You secretly want to work it out with this person, and you keeping an eye out if they dealing with somebody else or not, okay? But some of y'all. So for some, most of y'all, spirit wanted y'all to let that go and let spirit be spirit. But Aquarius got other plans. Y'all going to hold on to their life. Intuitively, you know y'all got an earth sign that want to work it out with y'all. This person has been trying to make an offer to you, baby. But I feel like you've been just like very short in love with whoever this is. You've not been making a decision. You've just been sitting in this very indecisive place. Like, oh no. Anxious. Because everybody who maybe you dealt with possibly left you out in the cold. Possibly used you for financial gain and deal. 
You afraid of that? Watch this high priestess here. Yeah. Some of y'all already know a conflict having to do with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag is coming on. This could be internal conflict. Internal conflict and not wanting to see what you already know. Why is the hangman here? For some of y'all, y'all have a cancer. Y'all finna find out some information about this or hurt your feelings. It could involve an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, hey man. Yeah, yeah. Like, there you go. Some of y'all can have a Sagittarius that just really have in and out energy. Like, you want this Ace of Cups. You want to communicate what it is that you want, but they just non committal, baby. And you got to accept that. And it's time for you to make a judgment call about it regarding your Ace of Cups. Because some of y'all got two decisions. Some of y'all got a Sagittarius and a Virgo that you can choose from. And one of these people are your Ace of Cups, but I don't see it being the Saggy as much as y'all want it to be. This person don't have stay power. Why is the devil here, Spirit? Spirit, why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Show me why. Okay. Yeah. Some of y'all got a Capricorn want to work it out with you, but this person toxic as fuck. They come with baby mama drama. You feel like you always in love and war. Yeah, this Ace of Swords is somebody presenting an offer. I feel like with it coming as a page, it's not going to be what it is that you expect it to be. But it's up to you to accept it or not. Yeah, some of y'all have two choices. With this Two of Pentacles and this King of Swords, some of y'all are going to possibly cut off a water sign or an earth sign, possibly even air. But you're going to communicate directly about it. Somebody been stalking. They finna come forward and talk now. They feel like they learned from it. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? Why is the whoa chariot here? Why is the chariot here? Yep. Yeah. Somebody could possibly you could find out someone had a child. Someone could possibly had a wife. You could be the wife. And you feel like somebody had an outside child. Or you found out, I'm sorry, yeah, Ten of Cups on top of the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, you can find out that somebody has an outside family. Maybe you and this person have been having issues conceiving. Uh, some of you could also find out that someone, possibly a water sign, could, someone could be possibly reconnecting with a water sign or the mother of their child. Why this Queen of Pentacles here? Because I'm my Queen of Pentacles, baby. These cards tell me that she put her pregnant. And this could be, you could have defended somebody. I'm talking about mad defended somebody and they just made you look like a fool. When you find this out, and it's going to help you make a decision. Now you're going to see why you intuitively been defensive towards this person. Some of y'all just could have been a fire sign or an earth sign or a water sign who did this. It could be all the signs who did the shit. But yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all finna go through some, some, some type of heartbreak. Somebody is being defensive towards you and is really hurting your feelings. Why is the six of cups here? Yeah. Some of y'all are going to be moving away. Moving away from a past life soulmate. Moving away to something new. It's been hard to make a decision, but you know, decisions are being made during this time. But some of y'all, y'all indecisive. Okay, about taking a leap of faith. But for some of y'all, y'all very indecisive about dealing with possibly an Aries person. Some of y'all are indecisive about taking a, taking a leap back, taking a leap of faith backwards toward the past. You're just like, no, nah, I really want new shit. But some of y'all are worried about what other people are going to say. Some of you all could be going to court during this time. And you feel like you're very indecisive about how you want things to go. Some of y'all could also be dealing with a Libra. Some of y'all could also be going, finding out some information through some type of court papers coming to you about somebody else. Shit's crazy, man. People need to tell the truth. Hold on, y'all. Stuff y'all cards are doing. Yeah. Indecisive about a decision to be made. Aquarius. Whoa. Okay. Why are the Ten of Cups here? Ten of Cups came out twice. Somebody definitely got some type of family family decision to make. Somebody, some of y'all are possibly going through. Some of y'all are indecisive about putting somebody on child support, or somebody possibly putting themselves on child support not to deal with you, and it's gonna make you feel very left out and abandoned because Aquarius. I feel like some of y'all didn't want to make the decision, so the decision is being made for you, 
And I feel like you stalking, trying to keep yourself around. But when spirits say let go, baby, they will help you let go. It don't feel good when it's done involuntarily. Yeah, change is definitely coming to some type of dynamic. Where two people may feel like they're being left out. And I feel like Aquarius, like, intuitively you know it's coming. And this is going to help you move forward and work on yourself. Work on evolving. Work on growing. For some of you all, work on your finances. For some of you, you have a Leo that wants to work things out with you. They want to move forward. I feel like they've been trying to tell you this since the month of August, but you're going to finally make a decision. Page of Wands. That's the page of Wands. Yeah. Somebody's want to communicate. They want to hold on to this. It could be you, Aquarius. This could be a fire sign or earth sign. They want to hold on to it. They want to move forward. They want to finally give you that offer. But is the offer going to be worth having? Because I feel like this person is still coming back with all these damn ones. Or when they come back to work on this, just going to stress you the F out. The fuck out. Yeah. Some of you have an earth sign. I don't know if you want to continuously deal with them. You're like, I don't know if I want to stay, if I want to go. For some of you, you possibly lean on this person for finances. And I feel like that's what keeps you opening the door for them. But you need to have more faith because what you don't know is, it's toxicity around all of this shit. Okay? For some of you all, it's a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like this person could be younger than you. They're offering you their love. But there's a bunch of shit that you don't see about this person. Some of you, this person is trying to bind you to them. I remember when I told you somebody outside of y'all was using magic? For some of y'all, somebody have tried to use some type of binding spell. Okay, and some of y'all going to be receiving information about it. And it's going to put you on, it's going to it's gonna click you on own mode. Like, are you fucking serious? Okay, then y'all going to get serious. Y'all going to learn how to protect yourself and you're going to get real to understand that. This world ain't fucking peaches and cream like people try to make it seem. It's people out here who do dark ass shit and they know how to put on masks like it's all good. You ain't got to like me. I'm just the messenger. But no worries. Get out of this indecisive mode. Because you're going to be able to victoriously move forward. And accepting that cup of love. For some of you, it's with a fire sign, Aries, Del Sag. And for some of you, it's with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aquarius, decisions, decisions. Will you take an offer? For some of you, take an offer to reconcile your family like you've always wanted. Or will you trust your intuition instead of staying up like this about the information that you may receive either from or about a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sage, or about Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a very intuitive person? Get out of this mode. This is not going to move you forward. Stressing for what? Go to sleep. Change up the way you're eating. And for some of y'all, quit putting these swords in your own bag. Expecting something that you're not going to see. Because Spirit is trying to bless you after this. After this. After finding out this. This is where you're moving. For some of y'all away from this. A past life partner. Who could possibly be? A Pisces. Some of y'all are going to be receiving esoteric information from La Luna during this Venus during this Venus retrograde about a past life relationship or soulmate that's going to assist you in answering your own call and moving forward and giving yourself what you felt you lacked previously. Because lack is a mindset. You lack nothing. You have it all. You are abundant. But you have to own that shit. Let it go. Y'all, this has been your October reading for my babies. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. I love you very, very, very much. And I will see you guys mid-month. Again, if you need personal readings, y'all hit me up. Mm -hmm. Love you, booze.